Hey Nick, this is a quite cool way of showing you how to transform the images. So one of the ones I quite like is this uh, angle of the bird, the little wren that you did, which is top-tastic. You need to, because this little locked thing is here, um, you need to be able to duplicate the layer of that. So if you duplicate it, call it whatever you like, background copy, um, then that way you can actually see them differently. You can see the changes once you've done it. So um, now you have that copy done, you go up to edit and then into transform and warp. And the cover bit then is this box up here, it says custom. You go to custom, go down to fish eye, not fish, fish eye, and it does it for you, um, which is quite snazzy. The thing is that it actually stretches the image, which means then that if the pixels are very spread apart in the middle and it's not a high resolution image. You might lose some of the quality in here, but if you keep the resolution high, it'll be absolutely fine. You can adjust the intensity by uh, changing the percentage up the top here in, in Bend. So if you wanted to make it 100%, make it much more, you could. Or if you wanted to reduce it down a little bit so you were not so keen on it, you can just change it down to about 30%. But really snazzy, you can actually pinch it as well. So if you put a minus button in front, you can pinch it down into different shapes if you wanted to. All right, um, let's just do that at 60%, and then you can see if you take this little eye, you can, um, and then uh, sorry, you have to click click that you want it done, that you're that you're happy with that. So you do the little check, yes, please, I love that, that's nice, and then you can see the difference just by showing the background or not. Okay, once you've done that, um, all cool. You just exit it to save it, and that'll be your image. Fish eyed. Oh, I love.